Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today I thought I would do a Sunday vlog. Um, we are going to go and get some groceries for the week. We're also going to get some stuff for a giveaway that we're doing on TikTok and just some normal family stuff. Diego slept over at his Thea's last night with his cousins. So Dominic and I are getting ready. Um, Fidel left pretty early this morning to help the church with something. And so when he comes back, we'll head out to the Tiangis and uh, take you guys along so you can see what we're doing and what we're getting and what a typical Sunday for us looks like. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go get ready. Dominic and he decided he wanted pop tarts for breakfast so he's having pop tarts and he's having it in on his t-rex plate in his t-rex shirt thank you good job okay finish your pop tarts so we can brush your teeth sir and comb your hair look at your hair it looks crazy are you ready to brush your teeth teeth, teeth. all right let's go brush your teeth Fidel is home and so is Diego. Fidel brought him back. And Diego and I got our grocery list put together. So now we are going to head out. Um, my mother-in-law has a sick cow, so we're gonna stop by there first and check uh, on them. I, she's waiting for the vet, so we're gonna check in and just make sure that they don't need anything and then we'll head out and go get some groceries. Okay, everybody's buckled in. Now we're going to drive over to my suegra's house, my mother-in-law's house. And do you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> We're going to drive over to my mother's uh, mother-in-law's house and check on her cow and see what's going on with that and then we'll head to town. And here is Fidel. He's also buckling up. So everybody's Oh, disculpa otra vez. Hola, cojón. <laughs> so everybody's buckled. Okay, so this is hard to look at, but she is pregnant and we have to get her transported to the um, vet because they think that it's related to her pregnancy, but um, he needs his other equipment that he can't move uh, over here. So I'm gonna transport her over to the vet and hopefully get her taken care of. Okay, so she won't stand up on her own. So we got the lowest truck possible. Now she's in a truck, tying her up to make sure that she's secure in there. And they're gonna take her over to where the vet has all of the proper equipment to hopefully treat her. We're gonna go get some vegetables first. And we do all still have to wear masks, like Diego. He's wearing his mask. <laughs> Dominic. Let me see your mask. Oh, look at the kitty. Let me see your mask. He does it have monsters? Wow. Unfortunately, because of the copyright issues in YouTube and because the vegetable lady is always blasting awesome music, um, I had to turn this part down and just voice over it. But I had Diego record so you guys could see some of the um, fruits and vegetables that we purchased. Now, these fruits and vegetables will last us 
um, probably about, I would say two weeks. The fruit usually goes the fastest, um, but the vegetables can last up to two weeks. Um, the fruit is a lot more expensive uh, than the vegetables. Fruit is always where um, I think we spend the most money when it comes to fruits and vegetables, but we really are able to get a lot um, of different stuff and a really good variety, which is always really nice. And I, I know I've said it before in other YouTube videos, but this is my absolute favorite place to get fruits and vegetables. The owner um, and her family are absolutely beautiful, wonderful people. They're always incredibly nice and sweet. Um, we know them really well. And so it really is the place, um, the only place <laughs> that I get my fruits and vegetables because I just absolutely love um, shopping here. So, um, and all of her stuff is just really, really good. She always has a huge variety of fruits and vegetables um, and even sometimes things that um, I can't find or I haven't seen in other places, so. You'll see in a little bit too that she also has some dry goods um, in her store. And instead of buying those at like the big chain store that we have in town, I prefer to buy them here just because I know that that money is going back into a local vendor. So here I'll get things. Um, she typically has um, a few different kinds of pasta and also rice. Uh, she has all of the dry chilies and things like that. And this time I even got some uh, Jamaica so that I could make some Agua de Jamaica. So watch for that little short coming soon because I'll make sure to put that up. But anytime that we can put our money back into our community and into local vendors is the way we, we go with this because um, really Mexico, it feels like everybody in town really is... Um, or a lot of people have their own business. And so we really like to know that our money is going right back into the community and not to a big corporation. And while she was ringing all of our stuff up, she also usually gives us um, something for free. This time it was a mango. And then here is my wonderful husband carrying our uh, fruits and vegetables to the truck. Okay, so we got all of our fruits and veggies. Dominic got strawberries. We all got a mango for free, which was really nice. Um, our fruits and veggies were 591 pesos, which is como like $30, 30 US dollars. Yeah, for all of our fruits and veggies. We have stuff for salads and everything that was on the list, except for like I got, I didn't get any grapes because they're really expensive right now. <laughs> okay, we have a majority of our groceries done. We're not all the way done yet, but now we're going to head into the actual Thiagis part. Um, they did get four pounds of uh, ground beef and that was 280 pesos. Oh, sorry. Also, that's like 15 US dollars. But now we're going to go and get some stuff for our TikTok giveaway. Fidel. Got some Ojo bracelets to put in our giveaway. Diego found the hat he's been looking for. Let's see, put it on. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that it had the flag underneath. That's awesome. And then Dominic is trying to buy every toy that this stand has. <laughs> What'd you find? This is Giga. Oh, they're dinosaurs. Yes. Too shiny. Not only did I find the cups, but then I also found the reusable bags I was looking for, and these ones are little, which is why I like them. Towels. 
Muchas gracias. Okay, so we are done grocery shopping, and I have Dominic here. He's playing with his new, like, dinosaurs. Wow. Um, I am working on editing a YouTube video. This is the time of day. Yes, that's T-Rex. Um, this is the time of day where everybody kind of is doing their own thing. Fidel takes a nap. This is his Sunday mid-afternoon like afternoon nap. Um, so Fidel's taking a nap. Um, I usually will work on some social media stuff like YouTube videos, uh, things like that, which hopefully I'll be able to post today. And, um, and Diego is hanging out with some friends and then we'll come back together, uh, when we're doing dinner. So I'll show you guys that. And, uh, I have a little bit to do around the house. So that's what the rest of our Sunday will look like. And of course we're doing all of this in comfortable clothing. So it's, you know, it's Sunday. <laughs> Here's the video that we're editing. Um, today I am doing my own um, subtitles. So if you see this video, I'm sorry in advance because my subtitles are not nearly as good as Servando's, um, but Servando was busy today. So I'm doing the subtitles and, um, and then hopefully I can get it posted, but it's taking me forever, I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrible at this part. Okay, so uh, yesterday we had a pretty significant power outage. It knocked power out for like three towns and it was out for basically the whole day and it wreaked some havoc on our internet. So we have no internet at home right now. Um, so I got the video finished, but I woke up from his nap. However, I can't post it yet. So, um, we found some kites that we have, that we haven't used yet. So we brought them out here to the house site and we're going to fly some kites and, uh, thought I would take, bring you guys along because <laughs> it's part of our Sunday. But I'll modify his kite. <laughs> Put like a big long tail on it. Are you ready to fly some kites? Yay! Oh, this part's going to be really windy, guys. Sorry. But of course, Fidel's is in the air first. <laughs> Look! Tell brother to go get his so he can get his up. I was left in charge of this one. <laughs> While they get the other ones in the air. And here's Dominic helping me out. Are you helping me out? You got it? There he goes. You're doing so good. Diego's like a master kite flyer. <laughs> He's had that in here forever. Oh, here goes mine. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Now we have two in the air. <laughs> Diego's not the only one that's good at this. Just kidding. Mine's only been up for like five seconds. Dominic gave up and Fidel is basically running around and picking up the kites when they fall. <laughs> This is kite flying with our family. Don't let go. Don't let go. All right, guys, we are all done flying kites. Um, we are headed home right now and we had a lot of fun. Uh, I'm glad that we got to do that. Glad we got out of the house and got to do that. So I'm actually thankful our internet was out today. <laughs> um, hopefully I'll get these videos up soon, but uh, I am sorry that it's taking so long. But as always, we appreciate you guys being here and we're gonna go home and make some nachos. I'm not gonna film that because they're just nachos. Um, but we're gonna go home, make some nachos and uh, find a movie to watch as a family tonight. So I hope everybody had a great weekend and we will see you guys later. Bye guys.